Larry Cush, author of The Bermuda Triangle Mystery, Solved, 1975, argued that many claims of Vincent H. Gaddis, who invented the phrase Bermuda Triangle in the first place, and subsequent writers were exaggerated, dubious or unverifiable. Cush's research revealed a number of inaccuracies and inconsistencies between Charles Bullitz's accounts and statements from eyewitnesses, participants, and others involved in the initial incidents. Cush noted cases where pertinent information went unreported, such as the disappearance of round-the-world yachtsman Donald Crowhurst, which Bullitz had presented as a mystery despite clear evidence to the contrary. Another example was the orc carrier accounted by Bullets as lost without a trace three days out of an Atlantic port when it had been lost three days out of a port with the same name in the Pacific Ocean. Cush also argued that a large percentage of the incidents that sparked allegations of the Triangle's mysterious influence actually occurred well outside it. Often his research was simple. He would review period newspapers of the dates of reported incidents and find reports on possibly relevant events like unusual weather, that were never mentioned in the disappearance stories. Cush concluded that, the number of ships and aircraft reported missing in the area was not significantly greater, proportionally speaking, than in any other part of the ocean. In an area frequented by tropical cyclones, the number of disappearances that did occur were, for the most part, neither disproportionate, unlikely, nor mysterious. Furthermore, Bullets and other writers would often fail to mention such storms or even represent the disappearance as having happened in calm conditions when meteorological records clearly contradict this. The numbers themselves had been exaggerated by sloppy research. A boat's disappearance, for example, would be reported, but its eventual, if belated, return to port may not have been. Some disappearances had, in fact, never happened. One plane crash was said to have taken place in 1937, off Daytona Beach, Florida, in front of hundreds of witnesses. The legend of the Bermuda Triangle is a manufactured mystery, perpetuated by writers who either purposely or unknowingly made use of misconceptions, faulty reasoning, and sensationalism. In a 2013 study, the World Wide Fund for Nature identified the world's ten most dangerous waters for shipping, but the Bermuda Triangle was not among them. When the UK Channel 4 television programme The Bermuda Triangle, 1992, was being produced by John Simmons of Joe Films for the Equinox series, the marine insurance market Lloyds of London was asked if an unusually large number of ships had sunk in the Bermuda Triangle area. Lloyds determined that large numbers of ships had not sunk there. Lloyds does not charge higher rates for passing through this area. United States Coast Guard records confirm their conclusion. In fact, the number of supposed disappearances is relatively insignificant considering the number of ships and aircraft that pass through on a regular basis. The Coast Guard is also officially skeptical of the Triangle, noting that they collect and publish, through their inquiries, much documentation contradicting many of the incidents written about by the Triangle authors. In one such incident involving the 1972 explosion and sinking of the tank of VA fog, the Coast Guard photographed the wreck and recovered several bodies, in contrast with one Triangle author's claim that all the bodies had vanished, with the exception of the captain who was found sitting in his cabin at his desk, clutching a coffee cup. In addition VA fog sank, off the coast of Texas, nowhere near the commonly accepted boundaries of the Triangle. The Nova, Horizon episode The Case of the Bermuda Triangle, aired on June 27, 1976, was highly critical, stating that when we've gone back to the original sources or the people involved, the mystery evaporates. Science does not have to answer questions about the triangle because those questions are not valid in the first place. Ships and planes behave in the triangle the same way they behave everywhere else in the world. Skeptical researchers, such as Ernest Taves and Barry Singer, have noted how mysteries and the paranormal are very popular and profitable. This has led to the production of vast amounts of material on topics such as the Bermuda Triangle. They were able to show that some of the pro-paranormal material is often misleading or inaccurate, but its producers continue to market it. Accordingly, they have claimed that the market is biased in favor of books, TV specials, 
and other media that support the triangle mystery, and against well-researched material if it espouses a skeptical viewpoint. Benjamin Radford, an author and scientific paranormal investigator, noted in an interview on the Bermuda Triangle that it could be very difficult locating an aircraft lost at sea due to the vast search area, and although the disappearance might be mysterious, that did not make it paranormal or unexplainable. Radford further noted the importance of double-checking information as the mystery surrounding the Bermuda Triangle had been created by people who had neglected to do so.